uh, the Hawaii sovereignty movement. Uh, that movement was at its most kind of violent in the 1970s. Uh, there were some shootings, but just individual shootings, you know, not yeah. widespread violence. There is no kind of uh, a guerrilla army out there to fight for the secessionist movement in these uh, places. So um, actually, I think in some ways we're, Hi, we're at a lower Allen. point than we were in the 1970s science. in terms of uh, independence or insurrections or in uh, secessionist mm -hmm. movements. But we're not in a good place right now. I mean, I, I think the people are unhappy with the federal government. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the sense of why don't you just leave us alone to do our thing is there. Yeah. And you mentioned twice in this discussion a few minutes ago um, that in the case of the Article of Confederation, it was, quote, falling apart. And in the case of the, the run-up to civil war, it was right. falling apart. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I suppose somebody could at least entertain the thought that maybe in a, in a funny way, it's falling apart now. I mean, it, it's not at the same level. No. Not even, no, I, I would say it's not even close, honestly. But yeah, there, there's definitely more, more strain within our union. And uh, there, there are more, uh, you know, more, there's more interest on the part of states in asserting their rights and even maybe ignoring federal laws that they don't like. Uh, the, fed, the federal government, on the other hand, seems, uh, uh, you know, well, depends upon who's in power. Uh, this, current, uh, this current administration wants to impose things on the states. Yeah, it's uh, so interesting, but at the same time, this administration is into the notion of states' rights. Yeah. It wants to let the yeah. states have their way in many issues, but except in not, certain other issues, not, it doesn't want to have the states. No, not, they're not really. I mean, they might, they might say they're for states' rights, but they're really not. Let's talk about abortion. Uh, they, they, they want to give the states the right to, because at, at the state level, there's yeah. a lot of anti-abortion forces, Sure, right? sure, sure. So yeah. they say, well, let, let the states yeah. do what they sure, want. They're, they're, sure, there's some practical politics involved here, but uh, let's take the marijuana movement. <laughs> just the other way, right? Just the other way. Right. So you have you have states who are passing these laws, and the, and now this administration says, well, we don't like these laws, and we we're going to enforce federal law. And it's like, okay, how does that work when a state has passed legalization, federal law says it's still a crime? How does that work? You actually, which which one do you follow? So there's there's some tensions in the system. You know, I get no out of this is with, you know we're not done with this issue of states versus federal. The whole no. federal issue. No, I don't. And think And it may we be are. different than it was, but yeah. it's still around. And and maybe the whole idea of creating um, you know the call it the checks and balances of having states versus a federal government. Yeah. Ultimately perforce had to lead to this kind of tension. I think so. I think it's a federal. It's the federal system which I think Madison recognized, uh, that the federal system had these tensions built into it, but it was better than having a hegemonic center where, you know, a president for life. Or Actually, a dictator, yeah. one of the Federalist Papers, uh, the paper written by, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the number of it, but it's written by Alexander Hamilton. He argues in that for president for life. <laughs> wow, that's chilling. Yeah. That's chilling. Yeah, so, Ham so, so Hamilton's going, you know, more power to the center. And Madison's going, no, no, we have a, this federal system. We've got a constitutional amendment which shares power between the states and the federal government. So you have kind of this kind of shared sovereignty. And, and, um, and Madison says, overall, I think this is a, a fine government, a much better government than a hegemonic European-style monarchy. So interesting, a, this, this debate you know. was taking place for so long. <laughs> you know, when I get home tonight, I'm going to look up the movie Lincoln, the Spielberg movie. I'm going to watch that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you're really excited and <laughs> interested about it. But big question, It's a uh, great John. movie. It's a it is a great movie. movie. Yeah. It's right down on the floor of, of the yeah. Senate and fabulous. Yes. But, uh, when, you know, when we come back... Yeah. Um, where, you know, we got to the point where we were looking into Lincoln's uh, internal strategy. That's true, Figuring yeah. out how he could turn the ship of state in right. his direction, his interpretation right. of the Constitution. What are you going to talk about after that in secession? Can you give us a précis? Well, sure. So uh, after secession is the war. And uh, after April 1861, both sides, uh, they put together armies. They're going to fight. Now... The, the one thing is that both sides also assume that the fight will be short. Uh, the Union looks at the Confederacy and goes, come on, we've got a national army up here. 
And we, you know, do we have to really? This is not serious. We'll go out, we'll whip those Johnny Rebs, and that'll be that. So let me make a guess. By 1864 or so, yeah. war was still going on. Right, there were right. hundreds of thousands of casualties. That's true, yeah, terrible. The mothers and the fathers were writing to Lincoln saying, stop already, it's really getting tiresome. Right, right. And the people around Lincoln, who he had convinced to follow him on right. his interpretation of the Constitution yeah. and the importance of slavery and uh, federal uh, oversight yeah. um, are, are are fighting with him now. They probably resurrect the old arguments and say, Lincoln, you know, you were wrong. Let's let's re. Am I right? It's